prepare the parents first before you put or release any rule after doing your karma after releasing the results the rules what they make uh, very tedious you know i find very tedious it should be flexible that never make them feel lonely your kids you know the main part is uh, your kids always need you and they need answer from you whenever you are upset just go to kindergarten section and you know have fun don't just teach your children to read teach them to question what they read teach them to question everything i am seema choria founder and host great principles and joining me in conversation is a very thoughtful educator of the day dr sonal jain she is principal of triple a international school from sivkasi tamil nadu welcome to great principles ma'am we are very honored to have you with us today thank you same here my honor and ma'am now we are very very eager to know a little more about you so take us back to your once upon a time tell us what inspired you to join education domain and what is your vision for our students yeah frankly speaking my english teacher she inspired me um she was uh, full of life and you know generally uh, all the subjects become boring but you know english is a subject where you are always drowned into stories and fairy tales and uh, Uh, my teacher was very good in uh, presenting all those things actually and uh, the way she predicts you know this is how the protagonist is and this is how the antagonist is so we used to get fully drowned in that story actually so you know that inspired me to become an english teacher first and after that step by step yes after english teacher i became a coordinator and then i became a vice principal then the principal yes today now i am a successful principal after 18 years of my journey in cbse so i had been consistently working in cbse for past 18 years so uh, there was never any break and uh, yes i have taken up the challenges i have never involved my personal life uh, with uh, my career so that has only you know been very consistent like you know one thing is my career was always consistent i would never like to change myself into any other field rather than only uh, in education so yes my journey began uh, with the english teachers journey started with the like you know my life started with english teacher so yes i was a dream girl i was a fairy you know for the little kids uh, i started from the scratch so right from kindergarten then you know grade 1 2 3 4 5 then 6 7 8 and uh, then ultimately 9 10 11 12 this yes, this is how i started and uh, i've seen a lot gone through a lot every certainly, day is a lot certainly ma'am 18 years into this field and inspired by your teacher so you know this is the impact of teachers in the life of a student and that is why we talk about these formative years they shape you as a person so ma'am tell me now you have seen you know the school life and how it impacts everyone so what is the vision that you are working for for your students i would like to tell you one thing is you know the main thing which we have to work all together all the principles is you know building up the leadership quality until and unless you don't build up that leadership quality and give them challenges to face i'll tell you they will not be ready for tomorrow so right from the tender age we have over here the system of you know giving up the challenges like you know you have to solve this problem so the student council they will come they will have the meeting and they will find a solution and then we uh, find out whether it is uh, right or wrong and you know then they come and discuss with us they will keep their point ahead this is what i want actually you know the revolution starts from when the students put their point of view to us there are lot many things you know so many things they question us where we don't have any answers but if you think from their angle it is all perfect so this you know raising the voice or revolting always makes a student successful but revolting for a right thing absolutely ma'am and this is how yeah and this is how we started our today's conversation that we should encourage our children to question more whatever they are reading why are they reading it and you know what everything and everything they should have their inquisitiveness of learning why and i really love your point 
that the role of a leader is to create more leaders a very beautiful vision that ma'am has and we really need to have such leaders in future also and the future of the country is sitting in the classrooms so with this beautiful wonderful vision of ma'ams we would like to move on to our next section which is rapid fire round so ma'am you need to answer me in one word or a single sentence okay so first of all we would like to know from dr sonal ma'am that what she does when she is not working what are her hobbies when i am not working i am watching only movies wow okay so you're a movie buff because i know 11 uh, no 17 uh, languages and 11 languages i know very fluently so yes i love wow. to watch movies all the all the languages movies wow so ma'am what is the biggest tip to master these languages i mean if i put it up this way because it's not easy to have so many. no no, yeah. no 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 it's very easy i'll tell you whatever dialogues is said just repeat that <laughs> All right. So, ma'am, which is your which is your favorite dialogue, and can you narrate that dialogue in two or three different languages for us? See, actually, frankly speaking, if you say uh, I have a song, that's all. No uh, dialogues and all, because all the dialogues, all the heroes, if you mismatch, uh, you know, things will go haywire. You cannot use them normally in your life. But yes, I will certainly tell you one thing. that uh, there's a song actually which i love a lot uh, it's in hindi mm-hmm. jab koi baat bigad jaye jab koi mushkil pad jaye tum dena saath mera wo hum na ma na koi hai na koi kha zindagi mein tumhare siwa I love this song a lot. Wow, beautiful! And you have such a beautiful voice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but uh, they say that my voice is uh, having that quality of leadership where I, when I talk, like you know, I can control the crowd. Wow, they say wonderful. That. What do you do to keep yourself mentally and physically fit? laugh a lot <laughs> and it is said laughter is the best medicine right yes and always you know whenever you are upset just go to kindergarten section and you know have fun laugh a lot yeah. teach and learn from them right. so coming up to my next question since you are a movie buff i would like to know from you who is your favorite actor actress and your favorite movie salman khan aishwarya rai maine pyar kiya wow amazing <laughs> beautiful movies okay moving ahead to the next question if you were to change one yeah. thing about current education system what would you change about which education system our current education system i would like to really change one thing is uh, seriously you know the rules what they make uh, very tedious you know i find very tedious it should be flexible and they should always uh, think about it that uh, the students are writing their first board exam after the pandemic so you know that thing hurts me so tedious into flexible yes the rules rigid rules into flexible okay moving up to my next question a piece of advice for a dear parents that never make them feel lonely your kids you know the main part is um, your kids always needs you they always need you and they need answer from you for a lot many of things please don't avoid it always answer them because you know uh, you don't know you never know that you know what they are asking may get applied to their life you know they might choose that path only so please uh, whenever they ask anything you no know, don't look at the phone don't look at the phone look at your child look at the smile look at his bright face or her bright face her eyes you know and then answer them so give them the time whenever they want pay attention towards them and answer rather than looking at the phone and answering you know look at them and answer give them love connect to your children give them gadget free zone and give invest your time in them that is the biggest thing that you can do today beautiful tip shared by ma'am 
Moving ahead to my next question. What is one thing about you which many people would not know? Is uh, the way I deal with my problems, you know, when once I'm frustrated, actually people, they don't know generally that, uh, yes, we are also human beings and uh, we get frustrated in a lot of many of things, you know, somewhere we also get hurt. We actually, we are... Uh, bound with the management and the parents both we have to balance both the things you know sometimes i have to lock my emotions and uh, act accordingly and that really hurts but uh, that's a part of management see uh, we are all uh, working for bread and butter that we should not forget we cannot go against the management also but the same ways likewise you cannot go against the parents and their situation also so somewhere you know i feel that uh, that is the Worst part where, you know, at night, whenever I feel guilty, I always confess this to my husband and I say that, you know, this is the thing which I felt wrong, but I have to do it. So that guilt feeling, you no, know, every day I'll remove it from my heart and uh, speak it out rather than keeping it to myself. And I think that's the best remedy, you know, you should always let all the things which disturbs you move out of your system. And that is how you cleanse yourself and rejuvenate again. So moving ahead to my next question and the last one in this segment, who would be the top three people whom would you like to invite to your house for a dinner? <laughs> Seema, this is very tough. You know, if everybody will watch this, you know, I would like to apologize them for that actually. <laughs> I can't help it. But first choice will be, you know, Amitabh Bachchan. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the second choice will be, you know, um, yes, I would like to invite, you know, um, a very stunning and hot lady. I would bring her back from the past. That is Indra Gandhi, you know, her revolt and the way she was very strong and powerful lady. So I cannot bring her back. I wish I would have had time with her. And uh, last but not the least, yes, APJ Abdul Kalam. Such an inspiration, I am telling you. I have heard him. I have seen him. I really like him. It's so mesmerizing to stand in front of him. And, you know, my heart, my uh, hands, legs, they were all shivering the second he was looking at us. I still remember that moment, you know, when I saw him, when I witnessed him for the Science uh, Expo. So I can never forget that. So yes, him, my favorite personality. All right, ma'am, though this round, this question is over, but I'm very curious to ask you one more thing. Salman Khan is your favorite actor, but he's not invited for dinner. Amitabh Bachchan, how is that? Amitabh Bachchan, when he speaks, he has got a very powerful voice. First thing. Mm -hmm. Second thing, you know, uh, his father, Harivan Shrai Bachchan, has motivated him a lot. And believe me, the same concept goes with me. My father, as a leader, as a managing director of the Textile Association, he inspired me a lot. So, you know, it is there in the blood already, you know, that leadership qualities. So I would like to say that, you know, that comes somewhere even hereditary, you know, your parents will be like this. So Harivan Shrai Bachchan, you know, read him sometimes you will know that why he is inspired by his father. So I am also inspired by my father. So there it matches. Okay. So that, that there is that connect. Wonderful. It was great to know you in this segment. We got to know that you have a beautiful voice. You're a movie buff. You know, 17 languages, that's, that's remarkable. So we are really, really honored to be with you. Coming up to the last question of the show, which is called the expert talk question. So ma'am, I'm sure you're very much a bear about NEP 2020 now rolling in. There is so much chaos already. When CBC announced result, people were, you know, kind of lost what to do, what to do next. So I would like to know from you, how do you look to reboot the education as per NEP 2020? You should give a choice to uh, study. Okay, uh, might be you know in among five subjects, the child may be perfect in all the three subjects. He may be master in all the three subjects. So kindly compensate somewhere for the other two subjects. That is the first thing you know. Uh, specialized their skill, you know, honing their skill. That is our work. We should not forget that as an educationist, 
you have to first concentrate on this thing that you have to hone their skills they have to express themselves they have to learn to express themselves they, whatever they want to become they know that very well you know a child is questioning me why should i study trigonometry when i don't understand even t of that and i'm not going to become a mathematician or i'm not going to become that is not going to be a part of my career my career is totally different from whatever i'm going to choose you know i'm going to study so why should i study this why unnecessarily you know burden them there there that is where i feel that the method of assessment should be you know 50 50 50 from the board and 50 from the school because the school they know the students very well okay the principal the teachers they are staying with them so they know the students very well so you should not put the result like you know board results complete board results okay 80% and then 20% by the school why is it like this make it like 50 50 because actually they are spending most of the time with us that is the first thing second thing you test their skills the assessment should be easy and flexible not very tough whatever important is there the main point is there you catch hold of that point whether the child understood that whether he has learned that whether he has understood the concept that is how you will train so that part you know the part of assessment that really is very bad over here see what we did is mcqs in the beginning for the first term and that too in the month of december that's wrong you if you are going to put your board exam you should have conducted by the month of september or october you should have given enough of time for term 2 3 months is not enough jan feb and march be very practical okay it is impossible and then you put the burden of these kind of uh, shocks like you know i will take only the 30% of the first term marks for the grade 12 that's really shocking for the parents you know they are not able to come out of it and uh, many of the parents they are disappointed when i saw that the grades are mismatching you know today they have sent the mail of uh, grading system in cbsc for 10th and 12th and uh, it's a uh, very disappointing actually we should not if this is the thing you are going to do now you should have actually given the prior information to the parents so that we prepare them how can you accept anything at the last moment if your destination seema it is to reach kashmir now how can i tell you at the last moment that you reach ahmedabad and get settled over there true so nothing should be done you know on the spot or you know it should be priorly informed to the parents that this is how the grading system will be so that they can take it up we have to prepare them right so now i am facing all the problems as a principal i am not able to answer for a lot many of things and the parents yes there are lots and lots of question i am telling you we don't know how the system will be see so many cases yesterday day before yesterday and the girl was going to commit suicide because the marks were put very wrongly it seems she is telling no it is 4 i know very well that it can be 24 it has been mismatched i will write my paper again and i'll show you ma'am and you know i had to come out of the station and the parents were in tears a very uh, sensitive situation i said that we will put for reevaluation that's all i can say from my side i cannot change the marks of the child right so yes i find it very very difficult whatever it is be very transparent give prior information prepare the parents before you put anything on them absolutely Only thing the most underlining word is prepare the parents first before you put or release any rule after doing your karma after releasing the results don't do that you should have informed the parents that this is how my system will be and you should ask even their views are important you should have taken it up parents views should be counted it should not be neglected they are the stakeholders they play very important role seema um, education system it should balance everything balance everything means student should be there parent should be there the educator should be there everybody should be there working together then only you can see a better tomorrow okay 
and uh, last moment decisions or last moment uh, scaling and all it's very wrong uh, i am very much disappointed seriously right now this mail says that you know only one eighth uh, we have taken only one eighth we have taken no the parents are saying just see the report card everything is wrong what do i answer now yeah according to them it is wrong and according to cbse they are saying that now we have this as a system that's wrong actually you cannot release this as uh, the last moment thing you know you cannot do this to the parents and the students i am actually facing a lot of challenges i have saved literally saved the life of a girl day before yesterday i was a parents to always follow the girl and be with her for all the time till uh, you know she comes out of it and gets emotionally strong and uh, my advice is that only that uh, don't give shocks prepare <laughs> let us you know take time to prepare them for uh, the shocks from all cbsc icsc or state board whatsoever boards so right. when we are implementing something nep 2020 it should not be there just in the words very Any right ma'am actually you have brought a mirror in front of all of us that what actually happens like you know pandemic just suddenly stuck in and our life was at a halt similarly these policies come as a shock and leave us all in fear fear of losing on something and that is what students are facing that is what that girl you mentioned has taken a step because we agree or do not agree mark sheet plays a very crucial role for students parents schools as well as teachers for everyone because yes. what will we do if we do not have good marks we do not get into good universities what the job further so we cannot just blame that don't run behind the marks and tell parents to stay quiet you know it is practically not possible because the situation needs to be changed at university level also so i think and you very right one, one more blame which the parent has rightly put on us seema this year is i'll tell you one thing last year was a pandemic they didn't write the examination Bef uh, last year before that also they didn't write two years they have skipped the board exam okay suddenly two board exam put one board exam instead of two board exam why did you have the system of two board exam they are saying this is not the right. right way see at least the educators also would have completed their portions properly on time and they would have given tremendous revision okay this was not the way at all i feel very you know disaster uh, for whatever happened uh, for this uh, 21 and 22 i am looking forward for a change at least in 22 and 23 and uh, let us hope so for a better future of india along with the support of all the educators and principals that is what i am hoping so right and i know because the right of the student by the way <laughs> i will never go against my students no ma'am we all have to be ultimately the learning and evaluation everything has to be student centric only we cannot yes. just think of one thing the main agenda of education is to guide students and if if it is not student centric it is not in the favor of students how is it going to be beneficial so you know i think ma'am you have rightly pointed out some of the very crucial things and i also hope that before nep everyone just have heard the term few people don't even know that it is called as national education policy 2022 this is the condition and when it will be it is rolling people are like acha aise karna tha this is the thing it is so happened we were not even aware so i hope as you rightly said we all need a guideline structure here what are the changes to be expected what next and as you said you know that in between two years you are not examining and suddenly you are putting two board exams we don't want any more shocks so there is a mental emotional suffering also for all of us our kids have also gone through a phase which was unexpected how can we just burden them suddenly together so we need to understand their mental well being also so ma'am you have given a food for thought today and you have let us all left with a very big question that is this the right way is this we how we are designing the policies for the very greatest education system of the country so beautifully explained and there is so much that you have given us today thank you so much for guiding us and i would say enlightening us that what should be the right process and how we should follow it thank you so much ma'am it was really an honor to have you with us and i'm sure you, today we have a lot of questions left and i'll need to have another round for this so that people get to answer all of their queries sure no problem at all thank you so much seema thank you thanks a lot